In today's video, a van arrives from the land down under. The Germans scare the Jews again. <laughs> and a street circuit claims the lives of a few cars. Damage to the car, but we'll keep you informed. As Check out this drag race between a Bugatti Chiron and a Nissan GTR pushing out over 2,000 horsepower. That wing must be producing a serious amount of downforce and the car looks like it's about to take off and fly into the atmosphere. See GTR. Oh, here comes the GTR and the Bugatti. Yep. Look at that GTR. Holy crap. This guy was test driving a Ferrari California in Maranello. For most of the video, he was driving the car quite hard and aggressively for a test drive until he lost control and parked the car into a wall. I have no clue why he would accelerate so hard while mid-corner, but it looks like he ran out of skill if he had any to begin with. I don't speak Italian, but I'm guessing the Ferrari employee was congratulating him on buying the car. The next clip is just a casual BMW M5 doing a burnout, but the spectators next to the car and their reaction turned the video into a bit of a historical joke. A German car with a funny mustache scares Jews if you get where I'm coming from. <laughs> left this comment under the video which I found pretty funny. I still don't understand the point of bagged pickup trucks, but I do find them entertaining. This guy's Toyota Hilux gets really low. One thousand five hundred horsepower Toyota Supra versus a Tesla Model S Plaid gas versus electric. Let me know which car you would pick down in the comments. Macau is known to be a very tight and difficult circuit where one driver's mistake can cause a big crash. The FIA GT World Cup in 2017 is the perfect example of this with a huge multiple car pileup. The Bois Ben doesn't look as though there's major damage to the car, but we'll keep you informed as to whether. Oh no! Oh mayhem! And there's millions and millions and millions of dollars of damage here at the mighty Macau. And that is absolutely come to an end right at the front of here is the 911 and you can see his frustration this is a mercedes ponton sedan from the 1950s which has had a chassis and a 6.2 liter amg v8 engine swap this is definitely one of the coolest builds i have seen in a long time I've always known that Volvo make incredibly safe cars, but this is just next level. I hope that poor truck driver is all right after crashing into a Volvo.
This guy drove from Australia to the US and must have forgotten the US isn't upside down. Jokes aside, this is a really funny and cool build. I like that the wheels on the van still move while it's upside down. If you have enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and checking out my other videos. Thank you for watching and I will hopefully see you in the next video.